Hey guys, Sifu Adelik here, Master Instructor at Niagara Kung Fu Academy, and I just want to take a minute to give you a few tips on combating anxiety. Uh, if that's something that you struggle with, um, I want to give you a few tips so, so you can reduce your stress and improve your health because we know that long-term anxiety can be massively detrimental to your health. A lot of our students come to our school looking for a way to fight their anxiety, to deal with their anxiety, and they find it uh, through training themselves, through training themselves mentally and physically physically. And this all starts with improved mental focus. We often feel uh, we often feel anxiety when there's too much going on and there's and things seem out of control for us. We're focused on things in the past that we regret that we can't change, or we're focused and we're afraid of things in the future that haven't happened yet that are a little bit um, further ahead beyond our control. We need to learn to focus firstly on things that we do have control over. Things that we have the most control over um, are things that are happening right right now, this moment. Our, our point of power is in the present moment. We can't, uh, we can't change the past and we can't influence the distant future until we have control over the present moment. So putting yourself in the moment and having control over that moment is, is what's really important. Now, rooting yourself in the moment is easier said than done, obviously, you're probably thinking that right now, easy to say, especially when you are anxious, when you're actually feeling anxiety. We say in Kung Fu, a very important thing that we teach is that the mind follows the body and also the body follows the mind. So this is an ongoing cycle. The two are interdependent. If you, for example, if you sit up straight, you're going to feel more alert mentally. And if you're more alert mentally, you're more likely to want to sit up straight, to pay attention to what going on. Um, if you're confident mentally, your body will likely follow that and you'll be more likely to make eye contact with whoever it is you're, you're speaking to. And if you're in the habit of making eye, con be, uh, eye contact because of that, well eventually you're going to feel more confident uh, mentally as well. So following that, you, you cannot just put yourself in the moment mentally, it has to be done physically also. And the key to starting this cycle, to, to being, being in the moment physically as well, the key to that is through your breath. When learning to focus your breath, it's important to breathe diaphragmically. An oversimplified explanation of this, uh, if you're not familiar with it, is basically when you inhale, you, you would push your belly out, your belly would push out, and then as you exhale, it would relax and flatten back in. Uh, many different activities share this, this method of breathing, uh, yoga, and tai chi, and qigong, and, and even uh, People who play like musical instruments, like wind instruments, they also and, and singers, they also um, use this uh, this regularly. Uh, it has a lot of benefit. When you when you do this deep breath, uh, deep breathing, this uh, diaphragmic breathing. It has a calming effect, and you probably know that, I've heard that already. This helps the mind to focus, right? At the same time your body is, is relaxing, it's important to give the mind something to focus on, though. Simply blanking out isn't really enough. Um, if you're just kind of blanking out and trying to keep your mind empty, well, it's going to be, it's open, it's going to be flooded with the thoughts that are making you anxious in the first place. While you breathe in, the trick to this is while you breathe in, you want to think to yourself, have the thought, every time you're taking a breath in, you want to focus your mind on, I am right here. I'm right here in this space. And feel yourself in the space that you're in. And then as you exhale, you want to think to yourself, I am right now. I'm in this moment. That's the trick. And that's a very simple meditation we use to try to root ourselves. Um, you repeat this several times, uh, several times over for a few minutes. You can speak the words out if you want, if you find that more helpful um, or you can just say them to yourself as long as you feel that word uh, those words and you're having the feeling of being in this space and you're having the feeling of being in this moment now you're not thinking about the future you're not thinking it past but you're in this moment right now since truly this moment is is your point of power this moment is what you have control over and really what you have control over is is your breath if you're not controlling your breath your breath wasn't there within your control well you wouldn't be breathing and of course yeah you know the rest right so keep, keep your breath matched with those words. Every time you're inhaling, you're thinking, I am here. And every time you're exhaling, you're thinking, I am now. This links your thoughts and the most ba basic uh, physical act you can control, uh, it links them together, meaning that it links your thoughts with your, with your breath, right? 
The reason why this works, even though it's simple, the reason it works so well is because the deep breathing helps your body calmly exit the fight or flight response, right? The fight or flight response is a state of mind um, where your body's responding to danger. And, and, and at that time, usually, typically, um, the body's surging with, with adrenaline, right? This makes the body tense, it makes it panicky, it makes it ready to, to do really, you know, really quick reactions. Uh, basically, it makes it ready to either flee or fight. In this state, this state of mind does not specialize in well thought out decisions. The breathing in this state becomes short and quick, and when the breathing becomes short and quick, the mind follows that. This cycle, this is the opposite of the cycle that we just discussed a second ago. Focusing on the breath is the key to directing this cycle towards relaxation and focus and mindfulness and, and away from that uh, fight or flight response, right? But you have that when you control your breathing, your thoughts will follow that. And you'll have that choice on your own. The problem with anxiety is that it, it keeps us in a partial state of fight or flight response for extended periods of time, which, which that state was not intended for and the body wasn't meant to endure that. This is not good for our overall health. Fight or flight was meant to keep us alive for very short periods of time, you know, when we were getting chased by a lion or something like that, right? Um, during this time, important body functions like your immune system, they don't fire on all cylinders because um, because of the point of danger, those things aren't immediately important. But if we're in a partial fight or flight mode all the time, then these systems are not functioning as well as they should. This will lead to poor health, and that's the problem. We're always a little bit in that response, so um, our, you know, our longevity systems are not really working as well as they, as they should be. If we can root ourselves in the moment and reduce stress and breathe deeply, we can start to feel healthy, and over, over time, we'll maintain a much better health because of it. If you would like more information on the diaphragmic breathing, um, I put together a little free tutorial for you so you can learn that technique. I know I talked about what it is here, but in the free tutorial I made, you can understand a little more and you can actually um, you know, get some practice in, in seeing if you're doing it properly and uh, go into a little more detail on what that's about. Right? Um, if you'd like to learn that and see how to do it properly, then just sign in below uh, and I'll email you the tutorial and it'll get sent to you right away and you can start practicing um, right now. Thanks for watching and I hope to talk to you again soon.